Hi everyone, welcome back to Queenie Pops. So another weekend and another wedding in August. So um, I'm wearing this dress today for the wedding. There probably will be pictures on Twitter. But obviously see the main accent is green in this dress. So I'm going to do um, a greeny inspired um, tutorial. So I've already put my primer on which is my Makeup Academy Pro Base and then um, for no particular reason um, that it's the same brand but I'm also using the Makeup Academy Matte Perfect Foundation. I made a review on this actually because when I first bought it I didn't like it at all. It's very dark, it says almond but it is actually very dark um, but now I do have a tan, um, it's very good but I need to talk about it a little bit more if you're interested. So. That's what I'm wearing, so I've done that already. Now, I do my makeup pretty much the same in most tutorials, just different colours. So, if you're looking for techniques, then this probably isn't the video you want. But if you want to know how to add a pop of green into your um, eye look, then keep watching. So, um, I'm going to start off with, and I've been using this in nearly all my videos recently, my Stargazer um, Eye Dust. This is um, number 32. I'm then going to be using, I don't know if they still do this because it's quite old, but my MAC um, Satin Eyeshadow in Melody, which looks like that. I've already done my nails nice and green. And then it may make no difference at all, but I found um, a Collection 2000 Dazzle Me, which is like a dust. Um, this is in Enigma number 13, and I'm going to have a little play with that. So again, it may actually make no difference at all, or I may completely fluff up my makeup. The suspense. So we're just going to get to it. So using a small flat brush, just close the drawer. I'm just going to take, as always, the lid of the Stargazer and take that into the inner corner of my eye. Now I have to say, this foundation does last all day and I find that the makeup I put on really does cling to it. I'm going to take that slightly underneath as well. This is giving a shimmery, golden look. This is going to open out the eye. If you have smaller eyes, this is really good. Um, and it will just give a nice contrast as the green I'm using is quite a, um, a statement colour, it's not um, subtle. Um, yeah, it's not subtle by any means, so this will just kind of break it up. So I don't look like, you know, a drag queen or something. Okay, so we might have a play around with that in a minute, but that's basically that one. I'm taking a larger flat brush, I'm going to take the green, I haven't used this for years actually, I've got quite a few of these, I wonder if, why do I do this, I should just get ready really shouldn't I, what's that, that's blue, I don't know what one to use, I've got two greens, this one is, I think it's Jinx, oh no, blue absinthe, that's kind of a greeny colour. I don't know why I'm showing you. Like, you can make my decision for me. What's this one, then? That looks blue as well. I am sad and do keep all my matte eyeshadows in their boxes. Some of these are, like, like 15 years old. I don't know if exactly the same. Right, anyway. Back to you. Back to me. I'm going to stick with what I've, what I've got. I can't find... Anyway, it doesn't matter. Right, flat paddle brush. Straight in. And I'm just going to pat it on like that. Yeah, that's very vibrant. Okay, same on the other side. Yeah, that is very green. A 
little green in that one. Okay. Taking my kind of tapered blending brush, I'm just going to very gently blend over the top. To make it less harsh, a little bit in the middle there. Wow, that's very green. Okay, now, what brush do I want to use? I'm a bit scared. Let's open this up. Oh, wow. So, without spilling it, it is just very, very, very loose. Um, what can I? I just want to add a bit of sparkle, really. It's quite a flat, flat colour, that green. I'm going to take a little bit of the product on a flat brush, oh, a bit, quite a lot actually, and I'm putting it in the lid. So then I can use this as my palette. Okay, let's just press this on top. See if we can get a bit of a shimmer on there. Well, that's okay. It's it's darkened it. It doesn't look so garish, which is quite nice. And then, oh, it's sticking really well. Like that. And I'm just going to take this up and make more of a point with it. Just to give the outer a bit more definition I don't like that actually I'm taking my blending brush just soften that up like that. Now, get a bit of cotton wool. I have got some fallout, so I'm just going to pick that up. Alrighty. Then, using my eyeliner. Not too thick. I think the makeup's quite um, vibrant. You don't really want a big, thick line. So I'm just going to do a nice thin black line as close to the lashes as possible. And this is just going to give your eye some more definition. And then same on the other side. Like that. And then I'm going to, how thin is this? This is really thin, I think. No, I don't want that. Then I'm going to do cold pencil underneath, just to make it a bit softer. got a green, how does this come out, a goldy green that I'm then just going to put underneath like this. Pop some mascara on. Last week I wore false eyelashes, but today I'm going to stick with what I've got. My head's falling off. Anyway. And 
that's it. So that's a green, green eye pop of colour. Quite a bit of pop of colour. Um, that's the eye. I'm going to continue doing my face. So if you want to continue watching, I might as well keep recording. Um, and I'll try and do this as quickly as possible as we're now um, 10 minutes. So I'm going to take a bit of my Bare Minerals and just do my T-Zone. As I said, the foundation I've got is a um, matte finish, but it feels quite humid today. It's kind of, it's cloudy and sunny outside, but it just feels a bit, I know there's going to be thunderstorms later. So my skin just can do a little bit of help to stop um, getting shiny or sweaty. Okay, on that lovely note, I'm then going to take um, uh, my Wake Me Up Shimmering Sands, which is just like a little um, liquid highlighter. Um, and I've been using this a couple of days on top of the powder and it looks really nice. Taking my brush and then just going to blend that in, try and get as close up to the eye, like this. I'm going to take that onto the apple, like that. Again, um, I don't really want much colour. Um, I want it to be, you know, about the eyes. So I'm taking my, everything is MUA today. Taking my MUA, um, this is actually just a powder, but it's quite dark. I've got this in shade four. You don't need much. And I'm just going to press that on top of my cheek. And it works as a really nice base. So, yeah, I've always used mine as a blusher. Because it is quite dark, but complements my skin tone at the moment. So I take that on. Then taking the MUA bronzer, this is shade 3, a little bit of this, and then I'm just pushing that into my hollow, um, hollows of my face. Like that. And then to keep it quite neutral, Wow, I'm an advert for MUA today. I'm using the um, Shimmer Kiss Bronzer. Bronzing Shimmering Kisses, this one. Um, I like it because it's got peachy tones in it um, and not browns. Um, and it works really nice. I've also been using these as an individual colours, so sometimes I'll use the top white as a highlighter. Like that. And then, even though I'm going to wipe it off in a minute because I haven't done my teeth yet, I think I'm going to use, um, well, to be honest, I'm going to go between the two of the day. I've got my Apocalypse um, Celestial and my Everlast NYC in Purple Crush 443. Have to say, I wore this yesterday at barbecue and didn't need to apply once. Um, really good lipstick. Everlast it does. Mm. No, I don't like it. Anyway, I'm going to change my lipstick. Have a super, super day. Um, I'm now going to put my hair in rollers and get ready. Um, if you want to see the finished look with the, you know, shoes and dress and everything, check out my Twitter, which is Queenie Pops. Um, and I'm sure I'll be tweeting throughout the day. Um, thank you for watching, as always. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care, everyone, and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks, bye.